Before starting this video, you need to get yourself a GitHub account and download the projects shown here. After you've got that set up, in this part one of our logo project, we're going to try to draw this face. Now you can see this face it consists of some simple geometric patterns and we're going to use these buttons forward, right, up, down, show, hide, draw, and reset to draw this face. Getting back to our code, what you want to do is click on this logo view.java file and then scroll all the way to the bottom where you'll see some unimplemented methods. In particular we're going to fill in this draw face method with a bunch of logo commands and then we're going to comment out this toast message and then we're going to uncomment this message which is going to turn on the draw face method. Now you might be wondering what to put in here. You can use any of the commands that you see in this file. So you can use the uh, turn right command, you can use the move forward command, uh, you can use the pen up, pen down commands, you can hide or or show the robot. Uh, any of these you can use to draw the face. Let's look at the face one more time. Now you can see that the hard part about this is going to be to not only draw the geometric figures but you need to maneuver from one location to another while the pen is off the paper. Let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to go ahead and run the project without having added any code whatsoever. Here's the emulator that comes up. Now let me just show you some basic commands. If we move the robot forward, you can see it leaves a red trail behind. Likewise, we can make the robot turn and hitting forward again and we can see it moves in a new direction. If I want to move the robot without leaving a trail, I can just lift the pen up off the paper by hitting this up button and I can move forward I can make the robot move some more and then uh, when I'm all ready I can put the pen back down and then continue my drawing. So you can see that I can leave a gap by taking the pen up off the paper and that's going to be important for our uh, drawing the face. Obviously we need to leave some distance between the eyes and the side of the face and similarly with the mouth. So basically what you have to do is you have to take these commands that are shown here in this group and add them as many times as you like into this draw face. You're also allowed to use loops if you like. Now when you attempt this assignment you're going to be tempted to do this by trial and error. You might try to for example put in a bunch of commands in here and run the emulator and see what you get and then make some adjustments and try over and over again. The problem with this approach is that it's going to take an extremely long amount of time. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to have to try and think about what you're drawing uh, in your mind's eye without actually seeing it happen. But there's a much faster way. You can use the emulator itself to help you. And you can just start off here and then uh, write down each of the commands that you use. So for example, let's say I wanted to draw the outline of the face. And let's say I wanted to make it 10 moves uh, long. So I would go forward 10 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I would just write down on a piece of paper, OK, I move forward 10 times. Then I turn right. I would write that down on the paper. I would just write down every single time I moved. Now I have the outside of the face drawn. Then maybe I turn right again. Maybe I lift the pen up off the paper, I would write that down, forward, move down, and then maybe I put the pen back down. So you can see by doing this, get the image that I want uh, designed rather quickly. And then what you do after you've finished drawing the face like this using the prototyper, you just go back here into the code. And then you just look at your piece of paper and look at the instructions you've written. You've basically developed your algorithm and done the design first. And then you can tra transfer it into the code section here and then running it. Uh, doing that will greatly shorten the face uh, drawing time. In fact, if you're taking more than 15 to 30 minutes to do this entire exercise, uh, something has gone wrong in your design. Mm -hmm.